today I'm going to talk about how to take care of cast iron cookware. Let's go! I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress. Then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how I take care of my cast iron cookware, which is kind of funny because a lot of people are, have a very, kind of almost a ritual, how they take care of their cast iron cookware. But how I take care of my cast iron cookware is, first I leave it on the porch for the dogs to lick because I don't wanna put any grease down the sink into my septic. So I'll leave it out on the porch for two or three days for the dogs to lick it. I soak it in the sink for three days until it leaves rust rings on the bottom of my sink. <laughs> then I scrub it out with Dawn dish soap and a scrubby and I put it in the dish rack where it dries with little rough spots all over it. And then I store it underneath this island shelf. And then when I'm ready to use it, what I do is I just take the cast iron cookware and I put it on the stove and heat it up and how I know when it's heated to the proper temperature is I touch the handle. When the handle's hot, you know the whole pan is hot all the way up the edges. And that's what the beauty of the cast iron is, is the whole thing cooks the food. So once the handle's hot, I'll be, I'll be doing other stuff around the kitchen. And then I'll put this little handle on here like this. Then I pick it up and I'll give it a little spray and then I'll put the food in there. Always make sure you heat the pan up first. So put it on there and you, and with cast iron cookware, you really never need to cook it above medium heat because that whole pan will get hot and you'll burn the foods. These are the four sizes I love, 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 love so much. Now you can see, you might look in there and be like, that's still dirty, but it really isn't. If you touch it, it's completely smooth. What a lot of people will do is after they wash it, they'll dry it good. Some people even take the time to heat it up on the stove to really dry it. Then they'll spray it with the oil and they'll like do this and they'll keep it, they'll keep it coated like this. So it looks like that. Ta-da, it doesn't, you can't see these little marks that it normally would have in it if you didn't oil it all the time. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't do this after I wash it, I do this after I heat it up on the stove right before I'm ready to cook. It's the same outcome, it doesn't matter. This one, for whatever reason, if it's made out of a different kind of metal or whatever, it doesn't get that, that discoloration in it. I love this one, this is my little egg pan. It's so handy, it's little, it's not heavy. It's the cutest little pan, I love this one. But I use them all, I do like all of them. And I find when I do this and keep it oiled like that, it just gets dusty in there, so by the time you it's a dust collector and everything sticks to the oil. So I just don't like to do it that way. And what I like about it is I just stack them all up and put them underneath. There you go. Now this is heavy when they're all stacked up. <laughs> awesome. Cast iron cookware is awesome. And a nice thing about it too is you can find a lot of it at like a garage sale, flea markets. You can find it around different sizes until you get the four, the four different sizes. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to Becky'sHomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, click the like button. It really does help us a lot. And if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Are you going to do some shopping on Amazon? 
Start by going through our link to get there. You don't pay one penny more, but we get a small percentage. The Amazon link is on the top right of Becky'sHomestead.com. Thanks so much.